Alperen Shagun is legit. I don't know what you guys need else to see. You want to hear? First off, for the last 10 games, this guy's averaging 18 a night. 10 boards, double double, 6 assists, 1.5 steals, 1.5 blocks. If you don't believe in his defense, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, this guy's going to be defense player of the year or, or all defense. But a plus defender, yes. If you are saying Alperen Jagun's a bad defender, you're a casual. You're, you're not watching the game. You're not seeing the, the progress he's made defense. Again, I'm not going to sit here saying he's an elite defender, but a plus defender. Not a bad defender, a plus defender. And he's following the footsteps, and I said this in the other video, of... DeMontis Sabonis and Nikolai Jokic, two other great European big men as this big man who not only is he dominant rebounding, not only is he dominant as an interior scorer, but his passing and his ball handling acumen is incredibly high that he's arguably the best passer on the Houston Rockets. And I made a video the other day saying currently right now he's the best player on the Houston Rockets. Yes, I'm going to say Jalen Green did tonight have 42 points. Jalen Green might have a higher ceiling than Alperen Shagun, but Alperen Shagun has been one of, if not the most consistent player on this team. And it's absurd. We could put all the numbers in here. His win share, okay, for the season 3.6, his effective field goal percentage at 58%, okay? Those are just numbers. His, you know, the other thing is, is that over here, his per 36 is ridiculous. He's a 20 point score with like 12 rebounds a night. A block and a half game is per 100 possessions. It's, he's a 27 per point per game score with two blocks, one and a half steals, and 16 boards a night. It's like ridiculous. He's a 59%, you know, inside the arc score. And, you know, I know he hasn't really taken any three pointers this season. I think on the total, he's taken 33s. He's made nine of those. Last year, he took 248, but they've really, you know, dedicated him to be a big guy. And I've just. I just think it's phenomenal what we're seeing in the way that he, you know, he, he uses his intelligence and his passing ability just to open up the floor. I just think is fantastic and not a lot of guys his age are doing that. And that's why I truly do believe that this is he's getting better as a passer and he's getting better as a player. And that's why it's it's really incredible seeing him play because you can see a guy who's following the similar footsteps as DeMontis Sabonis and Nikola, you know, Nikola Jokic as I know, you know, Nikola Jokic is a way better three point shooter. And even DeMontis Sabonis is a better three point shooter. But Sabonis didn't, you know, he started out shooting threes kind of like, you know, Shagoon, but then he mastered the inside game and then he started to step out and now he takes a, one or two threes a game at a decent clip. And I think that's something that people are definitely overlooking that Shagoon, like he's he, similar thing. And this is a guy that Shagoon, not only can he play, you know, the difference between those guys is I think Shagoon's a bit more athletic than, you know, Sabonis and Jokic, which allows him to be a bit more versatile and not only play the center position, but potentially even play if they have the right player, you know, the center or the power forward position alongside a center. Like if they got Victor Wembenyama, for example, I, I believe that, Shagun would be the type of guy to be able to play next to Victor Wembanyama as a power forward. Like, I think there wouldn't be that much of a problem. And I think that just goes to show, just because of his, his, his brain and his ability to see the floor is arguably second to none, that I think he's a guy that definitely could get away as someone who, you know, is the arguably like a the, the four and... I just it's that passing ability and when you look out there you're just so smart and again it just reminds you of the Sabonis and the Jokic comparison that he could be following that I don't know if he'll be as good as those two guys but he's definitely following a similar trajectory that you sit there and you go like this guy's going to be really good and I know people aren't buying stock in because of the fact that you know it's you know, I really don't, I don't understand why people aren't buying stock, but you should be because this is, this is a team that's definitely good and showing that they can be effective as all hell. And that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Do you guys believe in Alperin Shagoon like I do, or am I just being a bit overzealous and 
acting like he's the next coming of the great European big men. And I don't know, I just think he is. He's got that that scoring acumen that you, you hope to see from a young guy like him. And I just hope we get to see more of it because sometimes it feels like our guys, the Rockets, are just keeping him locked up and not fully letting him get the runs that I think he deserves. And it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out with more and more time as the season goes. And I think Alperin Shagoon deserves as many minutes as he can get because he's that kind of guy. I seriously do mean that. Like, he is so much fun to watch and somebody that definitely is going to be getting better with more and more time. So if there was anything I might have left out, Again, the defense. If you think, oh, he's a guy who doesn't play defense, I think you're not watching the games. He's better, getting better at drop coverage. He's getting better at getting in the passing lanes and preventing, you know, guys from being able to to score. So I, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below if there was anything I might have missed. And let me know. That's going to basically be it for me, guys. Peace out.